India is a country blessed by the gods. There is so much to see, so much to experience, so much to share across the length and breadth of our great nation. And a sincere attempt to document this phenomenon is the Hindai Great India Drive. For the 2019 edition, we had the capable Hyundai Venue Subcompact SUE as our ride. But before we begin, here's a quick recap. Setting sun, twilight and cold crisp mountain air. Welcome to the Hyundai Great India Drive with car and bike. I'm King Shook and just to recapitulate, it was Amya who started the drive from the Statue of Unity and he drove to Ludaipur. Then, Station took over and he drove till Chandigarh. And finally, the luck of the draw. I get the most exciting part of the drive. I started driving from Chandigarh before even my camera crew could catch up with me. And finally, we have hit the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful here. It's mystical. I'll be making my way towards Spiti, Spiti Valley and Comic in particular. And I'm really, really looking forward to the drive. Amaya started the drive from Gujarat and took the Hindai venue to the city of Lakes, Udaipur. From there till Chandigarh, it was Seshan who took over the reins of the steed and steered it through the hustle and bustle of Rajasthan and Haryana. And from Chandigarh, it will be King Shuk, who was delighted to be handed over the keys of the venue and take it to Spiti and the Sakya Tangyud Monastery. We start off driving in the direction of Shimla, the queen of the hills. While Shimla itself is pretty, the process of getting in and getting out is quite a challenge. Narrow roads spilling over with cars, two-wheelers, pedestrians is not something one would like. Our true journey started once we crossed Shimla and took National Highway 5 that went to Kaza via Kinnor and Spiti districts. Getting a good night's sleep was essential because the next day was going to be a rather long one. Well rested, we began early in the morning, snaking up NH5. The roads in Himachal are metalled till one crosses over to Spiti district. One of the highlights was to go through the iconic tunnel carved out of the mountains. Few things in this world are more comforting than enjoying a hot bowl of Maggi amidst mountains and fast flowing rivers. We are on our way to Spiti and this is Khab. It is the confluence of Satluj and Spiti rivers. It's absolutely beautiful and mystical. The terrain is quite rough and tough and it is a true test of man and machine. Our next photo stop was the Khab bridge which was also the spot where Satluj and Spiti rivers met and joined to form the Satluj, flowing towards Shimla. From Khab till Nako, we had to cross the car loops where you start climbing the mountain and the roads narrow down, accommodating just one car barely. But the view, it was beyond breathtaking. We were surrounded by snow-clad peaks all over and as one crossed Nako, believe it or not, the view got even better. Our camera crew became obsessed with the views and were determined to get some gorgeous shots of the venue till we reached Sumdo, the point where we finally cross into Spiti Valley. Po to Sumdo is about 72 kilometers, and this was perhaps the most dangerous stretch of them all. We checked into a lovely hotel run by a former automotive journalist and I had our fill of food, rest and conversation. The next morning we woke up fresh and early, heading towards the villages of Komik, Hikim and Langza. Even though the distance from Kaza to Komik is just 20 odd kilometers, the climb itself is quite deadly. But once you make the climb, the view is literally to die for. Our first stop was the village of Langza, 
the giant medicine buddha statue at langsa is world famous and even though it was built in 2013 it has become synonymous with the trio of villages up on the mountain the venue definitely looked pretty with the mountains and the buddha in the backdrop after langsa we headed straight to the sakya stangyud monastery which was our final destination of the entire drive at 4250 meters or 13943 feet it is also one of the highest monasteries in the world it is an 800 year old monastery which is one of the only two monasteries belonging to the sakya sect of buddhism in the spiti valley inside there is a stuffed snow leopard which is said to ward off evil spirits and bless the travelers and it is definitely a spectacle We spent some time inside listening to the chants the incantations recited by the chief lama or the head priest we thanked lord buddha for keeping us safe on our journey and prayed for a safe return after a long 3 day drive from chandigarh to spiti i'm finally here at the shakya tangyun monastery it's over 800 years old and this is on one of the highest villages in the world in fact comic is the highest village in asia so it was a tough drive like i said and like we showed you and i spent some time there collecting my thoughts calming myself down and it was a beautiful spiritual experience and now i leave you some beautiful shots of spiti landscape while enjoying my tea here the spiti valley is tough and unforgiving the temperature the terrain and the altitude can lay waste to the best laid plans in the proverbial blink of an eye but the mountain gods and lord buddha were kind on us and we made it to spiti and back without a hassle car and bikes 2019 great india drive was a smashing success and now we can only cross our arms and wait till the next edition comes along.